Hey guys, so I found some more interesting things about comparators, and yeah, um, here we have a bunch of comparators going in a circle, and a bunch of repeaters, and these are actually pulse sustainers, but uh, as I'll now show you, this is actually much better than this, because first of all, it takes a much shorter time to charge up and once this is charged um, we'll also see that it holds the charge for longer right so now that's off and if we wait a bit longer that goes off too so yeah it's just much better to use than uh, the repeater locking pulse sustainer. So now um, the next thing I want to show you is this one tick clock and this is much better to use than the standard one tick repeater clock and the reason for that is uh, it's cheaper first of all it only requires one competitor and this requires two repeaters, which is uh, definitely more expensive than that, but uh, also, this is much easier to start off. All you need to do is power this comparator and the clock starts running, and you can just depower power it and it'll stop running. So for this, it's much more complex, you need a one tick pulse. Uh, so you can do it manually by placing a redstone block and a torch. That'll start it. And uh, if you want to start it uh, just by pressing a button, you're going to have to wire up a mono stable. Uh, like so. Whoops. Okay, uh, you need a repeater. Um, and there, that's how you can start it just by pressing a button. Now, um, the next thing is that this is much more stable than that. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's say you accidentally broke uh, a part of it. So if it's running, you break something, whoops, uh, all you have to do is just place it back and it'll continue to run just like it was before and it just doesn't happen with this so if I place a torch here and start the clock um, we break something whoops uh, we're going to have to start it again so that's another advantage of that uh, yeah and I think that's about all I have to show you today so yeah I'll see you guys next time bye